And back here locally today, the push for police reform in the city of Akron will take a big step forward. Austin Love joins us now live with more in Austin. We understand there are new developments in the Jalen Walker case as well. Yeah, absolutely. On, on both fronts, today is a big, uh, we'll be seeing big changes in policing and how it will look in the city of Akron. And the city council plans to complete its uh, last steps towards establishing the Citizens Police Oversight Board. We'll have more on that to come. But this comes in the wake of the shooting death of Jalen Walker. It has now been nine months since he, was, since he was shot and killed in the city of Akron. Last night in a community meeting at New Hope Baptist Church, all were welcome to hear and understand whether or not the eight officers in involved in what will be invited in, indicted excuse me by a grand jury all eight officers are going to be presented to the grand jury but whether or not all eight will be charged depends on that jury Steve Milet is the Akron's new police chief he says that officers will have to answer for their actions on that night every decision the officer made officers made is going to be examined and scrutinized they are going to have to explain why Every bullet went down the barrel of their gun. Well, Milat in that community meeting yesterday did address that he was surprised at how quick this whole process with Jalen Walker and that trial is going right now. Typically, it takes about 14 months to present evidence to the grand jury. Uh, so far, it will be uh, evidence will be headed to the grand jury in less than a year. Dave. Okay. Austin, thank you for the latest. See you later on this morning.